Well, it certainly gets the heart going, that's for sure. Lake on the top of a hill. Welcome to the rather sunny North Wales. I know, sun. If there's any Welsh viewers out there, apologies. I've only ever known this place by one name, and I know there's a better pronunciation, I just can't say it. I'm currently in the really beautiful village, village, town of Betsy Coed. So today, because it's such a gorgeous day and this area is absolutely stunning, I'm doing an eight miler today. And the first section, which is why I'm getting the talky bit out of the way now, the first section is a mile and a half up that, up to something called Clin Elsie, which is a rather beautiful lake on top of the hill I'm about to climb. So I'm gonna go and see that. And then I'm going to work my way across the ridge up towards Swallow Falls, which is another beauty spot in the area that is apparently stunning. Driven past it loads of times to Bad Gallet. Never ever been myself. Let's go. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Well, it certainly gets the heart going, that's for sure. Totally worth the drive on the hill. Right then, bit of housekeeping out the way. Car parking. I've parked in the centre of Betty Coed um, on Station Road. It's by the station. Clues in the road name, isn't it? Um, but there's two car parks. There's one right at the beginning by the toilets. That's only a short stay. And you can only stay for four hours, and that's five quid for four hours. But if you drive past the station and go a bit further down, there's a long stay one. Um, all day, an extra quid. So for six pounds, you can stay all day in Betty Coed and I wasn't climbing this. Who wouldn't stay in Betty Coed all day? It's absolutely gorgeous.
the other side of that somewhere should be Lynn Elsie. Two miles up, Clean Elsie Lake on the top of a hill. It's massive. It's got to be about a mile wide. Loads of seagulls have made it the home, but also loads of wild geese. It's lovely. Worth the climb. And now, a couple of miles across the ridge. Next stop, Swallow Falls. Unsurprisingly, because it's such a clear day, you get a cracking view of the Snowdonia mountain range. Come up here. It's absolutely stunning. You can't make it out on the stone because of the light and some of it's worn away. The big stone at the top is a commemoration stone for the opening of the Betty Coward Waterworks. 1914. And then it suddenly became a path less travelled really, really quickly. <laughs> Just turn right at the tree. Have you seen the path, mate?
Well, that was the most pleasant way to have a little rest. Swallow Falls. Very impressive. I can sit there for quite a while. It's two pounds to get in. Coins, contactless. Two quid. Pay. Go and sit there for a couple of minutes. It's spectacular. Now, full disclosure, some of today's route is missing from filming. Because let's just say it was navigationally challenging. I don't know whether it was just because of all the rain we've had, but a lot of the footpaths have kind of become rivers. And the ones that didn't want to become rivers had become swamps. And as a result, I needed both of my hands to get through probably about a mile worth of the section. Um, wasn't particularly enjoyable, but it's the challenge you do when you take the path less traveled, shall we say. But needless to say, Look at the state of me. I've been lying here for too long. I don't know what else to do. I wanna get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. It's so easy just to go online and go, oh, eight mile, oh, smash day, great day, fantastic day, hashtag best life. How about we sprinkle a bit of reality on some of our walks? Part of today has been an absolute challenge, mentally and physically. Yes, Swallow Falls is absolutely amazing and Clint Alice was absolutely beautiful. But that one particular section, an absolute nightmare. It starts to make you question, like, what the hell are you doing? But nature's got no idea that you've spent a couple of days meticulously planning your well-scheduled route and then you turn up and also on a path that you thought was supposed to be there has been washed away and it's not there anymore and you've got to reroute yourself. Paths have just got massive oak trees blocking them and you just can't get past them so you've got to reroute. And now with all the rain, the uphill sections with the mud and the moss, just energy sapping and it does make you question why you do what you do. But I do like what I do. But I think it's worth mentioning that it's not always rainbows and sunshine on hikes. And sometimes you are going to get challenging bits. And I think you've just got to embrace the hate <laughs> and just push through it. Because I got through that and then all of a sudden I'm at Swallow Falls and I'm just chilling. Just some ramblings and some old dude sat on a rock having a rest. What do I know? See you in a bit. Right now, there you have it. After a little over eight and a half miles, a little over four hours, some serious soul searching and some serious question of my life choices today. I'm back in Betty Coward. Challenging one, that one. I'm gonna feel that tomorrow. So the only thing left to do is to go and see the doctor and get some liquid painkillers. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Nothing like